Hello, welcome, and we have another three to go. Uh, but top of the pile is the Donner Winterverb guitar reverb pedal. Um, so as the disclaimer needs to be, these have been given to me by Donner. Um, it's up to you to decide how biased or non-biased I am going to be, because I don't know yet. Um, and they've given no instructions or anything like that to tell me what to say or do about it. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to unbox these quickly just so you can see them and then I'll try and take some time to make a demo review kind of thing about each one and then I'm actually going to use them to build another small board uh, for jamming. So Nothing to do but start the unboxing. Let me just check if this baby's going. Yes, it is. Um, so this is the Winterverb guitar reverb pedal. Now, I happen to know that these are digital pedals, right? These are not analog reverbs. Um, a nice manual. Stickers, or landfill, as they call it. Um, it has little feety things and obviously nice packaging. Uh, the packaging is actually really nice. Um, and it comes in this little plastic in my jobs. Ugh. Right, so it's not clean. <laughs> There's some gunky there, which is going to be so clean very soon. Um, okay, so this is the pedal. Um, I would say loud but soft switching. So not a clicker clucker. Clicker clucker clicker. It sounds like a clicker clucker, but it's soft switching. Um, stereo in and out. So mono and left and right, mono and left and right, both in and out. Tone, mix, decay. And then what options do we have? We've got a switch which goes between short and long pre delay. And then we have room. Studio, hall, plate, spring, mod, and deverb. I'm assuming that's digital reverb, but obviously everything is digital. See if they have anything interesting to say. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -mm. Main features. Donna Winterverb is a Multi-type reverb pedal packed with the most useful function and seven kinds of world-class reverb algorithms ranging from essential to ambient. Uh, not only provides vintage reverb sound like room, studio, hall, plate, spring, but also includes modulation reverb. Okay, so that's the mod reverb, it's modulation reverb. Oh, and it's not digital reverb, it's distortion reverb. Basic reverb parameters help you set up your reverb sound as simple as possible with freeze function. It can sustain your reverb effect whenever you want. Stereo inputs and outputs offer you awesome huge reverb tone. Trail on mode buffer, uh, buffer bypass and true bypass mode provide you with a choice to decide keeping reverb tail, keeping your tone characteristics. So I actually read about this. So you can switch it um, between the tail going on so it I'm assuming it doesn't go into full uh, true bypass mode if the tail is on so if you switch off uh, you know the reverb effect the tail lasts so it must still be in some sort of loop in some in some way um, seven kinds of blah 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 stereo inputs and outputs out of easier to set up your own reverb tone with mix decay tone and pre-delay parameters hold on reverb sound as long as you want via freeze bu but, uh, button freeze button. I'm assuming that's just your foot switch engages and disengages the effect. The foot switch also controls the freeze function and controls the trail on mode or true bypass mode. Uh, okay. Interesting. Trail on mode is a buffered bypass mode that signal goes through the ADDA and DSP. 
When engaged, the disengaged effective reverb tails will still keep natural and slowly fade out. Jesus, that sentence. The reverb tails will still keep natural and slowly fade out. Okay, it's not so bad. True bypass mode is a hardwired bypass that will not affect the guitar tuning when the pedal isn't bypass. The default mode is trail on mode, so it seems like the default mode is um, not uh, buffered bypass. So here's the thing that already kind of gets me. Um, first thing. So it looks really nice. I mean, this is really pretty. I love the, the, the look of it. This is pretty, pretty awesome, actually. Um, however, if you flip it around, you can see that it's got like this metal uh, recess plate that holds everything. And then there are four screws. The, f the screws, however, are not flush, which means that Unless you have really thick Velcro, you're going to have that little gap, so it doesn't really nicely stick in there, which is really annoying. These are the things that I honestly think pedal makers should um, uh, should start thinking about, is that the majority of people and how they mount their pedals to a pedal board. It does come with these feet, and obviously these feet, uh, feeling them, they are flat at the bottom. So that means that um, they won't go, you can't put them over the screws you've got to put them next to it and yeah to be fair this no it, it will it's a standoff okay that's fine cool anyway there you go that is just a quick opening of the sky to see what it looks like and um like i said i'll try and make decent more in-depth reviews of these guys love the look of them i must say they look great they feel great the soft switching is pretty interesting um and there you go thank you